The gallbladder is an organ that sits on the right side of your abdomen underneath your liver. Your liver makes bile and bile gets stored in your gallbladder and then when you eat, especially greasy food, a chemical gets released from your intestine which causes your gallbladder to contract and then your gallbladder is supposed to squeeze the bile out and the bile drains down into your intestine and kind of acts like soap in a sink full of greasy dishes just to kind of help emulsify the grease or fat that's in your intestinal tract. A variety of things can go wrong with the gallbladder. Most commonly people form gallstones. This is more common in, in women and it's fairly common in pregnancy, but plenty of guys can have uh, gallbladder problems too. When people form stones in their gallbladder, their gallbladder contracts and those stones can get stuck in the outlet to the gallbladder and then it causes cramping, abdominal pain in the right upper quadrant of the abdomen, sometimes radiates into the back and sometimes people develop nausea and vomiting. If the stone gets stuck in the uh, outlet of the gallbladder, people will have a gallbladder attack that won't go away. They'll probably wind up in the emergency room. pretty easy to make the diagnosis based on the history and then we just do an ultrasound of the right upper quadrant of the abdomen and can see gallstones. If people have symptoms of that what we call biliary colic, meaning that they have you know right sided upper abdominal pain which seems to occur with meals, then um, the HIDA scan is a test that we can do to see how the gallbladder functions and if we find the gallbladder is not functioning right, those people can often have their symptoms relieved by having their gallbladder out. Gallbladder surgery is a, it's a fairly easy surgery to undergo as far as surgeries go. It's, uh, it's safe, it's done minimally invasively, and people can come into the hospital, have surgery, leave the same day. I've had patients who've gone back to work the next day. I wouldn't say that's typical. Most people take a week or maybe two weeks off from surgery. All the stitches are underneath their skin, so there's no uh, sutures going through their skin, and there's just glue on their incisions so people can shower the next day. There's no dressing care required. Most of the time, um, people can eat whatever they want after having their gallbladder out. Sometimes people will have problems with greasy foods for maybe a week or three weeks after surgery, but typically people can get back to eating whatever that they will wanted to eat or eat whatever they were eating before, only now not have the, the pain that they were having. For people that have gallstones and ha are having abdominal pain, we recommend that they have their gallbladder removed. The stones can be the source of the pain that people are having, but Passing a gallstone isn't like passing a kidney stone. Should the stone get out of the gallbladder, it can get stuck in a variety of places, including the bile ducts or uh, the pancreatic duct. So people can develop pancreatitis or become jaundiced, turn yellow when a stone falls out of their gallbladder. So like, whereas when people have a kidney stone, we can just give them fluids and, and let them pass it. With gallstones, you don't want to pass it. So anybody who's having abdominal pain and has stones on an ultrasound, we're going to recommend having their gallbladder out. If people have gallstones and they're having symptoms from their gallstones, I would much rather they come in and get their gallbladder out sooner rather than later. There's a lot of complications in a, that can occur from um, not getting your gallbladder out. And the more gallbladder attacks you have, the more scar tissue you're going to get around your gallbladder. And your, your gallbladder can become scarred to your bile ducts. And it can be a much more difficult operation for somebody who's had multiple gallbladder attacks. Most people after having their gallbladder out don't have any problems um, ongoing from that point. There's a small percentage of people that may develop diarrhea, but it's a very small percentage. This is a surgery that's pretty easy to do laparoscopically, very well tolerated. The uh, complications from the surgery are low. The, the recovery is, is not bad at all. I think this is a great operation.